Hello Internet Geocache Spoilers here. Uh, this one is another one of my own caches and it is another multi and it's a multi of epic proportions. Excuse me while I squeeze in here. People will be quickly led to this and if they put their hand around the back here they'll be led to this milk bottle and inside the milk bottle there's some coordinates that we must go to. So let's go to those coordinates and see what's what. And if you follow those coordinates, it will lead you to here, where you can fill up your jug of water, and you'll find this tricky little thing. Now, with the help from my third arm, we cover the little hole at the bottom to prevent the water escaping, and we tip the water glug, 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 glug. And we grab this little sucker. Now, inside of this little sucker, whilst this is doing a wee, we find, you probably guessed it, some more coordinates. But this thing says on it, uh, the container says on it, plug. Hmm, let's see what, uh, see what we've got to do with that. And the coordinates are going to lead you here. And for this thing, we need our plug. Plug goes in the hole. Then we take our water. Now there is a wee hole there, which uh, my third arm is covering, uh, so that people can't come along and they can't. They don't have enough hands to cover that, cover that, and fill it with water. Unless, of course, there's 12 people come doing it, but you can't think of everything. So, let's try this. And that gives us this cheeky little number, which says, I don't know if you can read that, magnet, do not open. And on the other side, there's obviously a set of coordinates. So, hmm, let's go and see what we need a magnet for. And so if we follow the coordinates provided on the tool that we've got from the last cache, it leads us somewhere here, and there's a suspect little area that we can uncover, and when we do, we use our tool and that gives us a key and there's a little container here that we can open I don't, can't do it, I haven't got enough hands but if we open that container, there'll be a note in there with some more coordinates. Let's go and look at those coordinates. Well, that leads us to here. Now, this is going to be a little bit annoying for folks, because that's right where they found the water bottle, if you remember. And if they investigate around the area a little, they will find another container. And if I have enough hands... We open this container and pop out dun, 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 dun. another container and in here we open it. There's a piece of paper which leads us to the final container. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go and look at those coordinates now and see where we get to. And if folks follow the last set of coordinates they will be led to just here. And underneath old Stumpy, you have a container. And inside the container, you have all your usual assortment of trinkets and bits and bobs. So, what do you think to my caching series, guys? I'd love to hear your comments below. At the top of the page, there's a subscribe button. If you click that, you will be notified when I upload a new video. It doesn't cost you anything, and then you can watch more of my cool geocaching videos like this one. Uh, as I said, your comments are welcome below. I know we are relying on people putting lots of bits and bobs back. Uh, you know, they've got to put the plug back, they've got to put the keys back, they've got to put the magnet back and some other bits and bobs. So, 
Um, I'm not sure how that's going to go, but we shall see. This one was going to be combined with my all the other multi-video, which I shall link just here. I was going to combine all this together to put like a 12-stage mega cache, but I thought it was too much and I split it in half. So, yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Let me know what you think. Cheers!